everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video and for today's we're going to be discussing something that I know a lot of people are wondering and that is whether or not we will be getting a Jurassic World Dominion DLC or free update for the game when the film comes out in theaters. Now, before we get into this topic, I just want to remind you guys to hit the subscribe button to join the hunt and to leave a like as it helps this channel out every little bit. And now we can continue. So, for Dominion DLC, I believe there are three options of what could happen. The first is obviously that they make it just a paid for DLC, which I know a lot of people, myself included, will be a little bit disappointed in that because with Fallen Kingdom, we did get that update for free, but it kind of makes sense because uh, the only reason why I think it makes sense for them to have it as a paid for DLC instead of being free is because of the fact that um, it's going to be a six month gap between Jurassic World Evolution 2's launch and um, Dominion itself. And that could be even longer depending on when they do release Evolution 2 because it's sometime within this year, but let's say it's in December. That's still half a year away. So I think it's only fair for them to want to be able to make some money for that year with something that's going to be that big. And especially because if you recall, I did a video announcing all of the confirmed dinosaurs that will be being introduced into the film franchise for Jurassic World in Dominion. We counted 11 species that included um, avian species like the Quetzal, and the Lystrosaurus, which isn't even a dinosaur. So if they were to include all of those new species, then it would it would be very under, understanding if they wanted to, you know, have those dinosaurs be paid for because, well, it's a lot of work doing all those dinosaurs, plus all the skins, animations, all that. But I still think it would be a little upsetting for some people because, I mean, with Fallen Kingdom, we did get a free deal. See, to be fair, it was 10 days after um, the game came out, but still. The other option that I think they could do is um, making it a free one. Because what they could do is, um, like they did with the first game, they have, um, with launch, they have a DLC that's like a deluxe DLC, like they did for the first game, which the first game came with five dinosaurs, and I think it was about... 10 15 dollars here in canada i'm not sure about other places but lots of people did get it with the main game and that gave them an extra bit of money and what they could do is in between the gap of um dominion and evolutions 2's launch is they could have another dlc whether it be a ca another campaign or it could be um a dinosaur dlc like you know three dinosaurs seven dollars that kind of thing and then when Dominion comes out, they could make it free. Maybe with it, they could have a paid for thing as well, like maybe another campaign, like a Dominion campaign, but you can still get the dinosaurs and stuff for free. Just if you want to have the Dominion campaign and little bonus material, then you have to pay for that. That's something they could do, and it would make sense, because then we'd be able to still get the dinosaurs that are appearing in the movie that, you know, probably won't appear um, in the base game, and they don't have to worry about paying for it, or for those people who want the extra stuff, they can get that and also this Dominion campaign. I don't know, it could happen. And there's one other thing that I think could happen, and if there's some of the dinosaurs that we know are appearing in the, um, movie, like, let's say in the base game we get Giganotosaurus, and let's say it doesn't look like what it's going to in the movie. If that is the case, then what could happen is, like, we get an update, we get a free update that, like, gives us some um, movie-accurate movie skins. So, like, say we have, like, almost all the dinosaurs that are appearing in the Dominion one, just in the base game, they don't look like the ones w in the movie. So, let's say we get the Deinonychus that looks very similar to the Jurassic World Evolution one, which I know a lot of people disliked, but hear me out. Let's say we get that, and then... When Dominion comes out, we get a Deinonychus skin for Dominion, which I think a lot of people, well, we'd get two. We'd get the orange one and then the white one, which probably the white one will be either, fem will probably be the female, which would be a perfect reference to JP3. 
And then, you know, for other dinosaurs, like, say, the Quetzal, which I, I'm pretty sure, like, the Quetzalcoatlus will be in the base game, because, like, it's one of the most famous pterosaurs, I'm pretty sure, apart from Pteranodon and Dimorphodon, in the Jurassic World franchise, it's the most popular. I feel like if it's not in the main base game, then we're going to have, um, the full dinosaur DLC. But I don't know, guys, what do you think? Do you think that we're going to get the Dominion DLC as free, or do you think it's going to be a paid for, for a thing? Personally, for me, I think that it's the most logical choice that they do it for free, because they did it with Fallen Kingdom, and I know that fans will be outraged that they have to pay for getting the dinosaurs that were in the movies. Like, Especially because of things they've done in the past, like the Return Jurassic Park DLC, where we, you could get all of the um, Jurassic Park versions of dinosaurs. You could get Rexy, you could get the big one, you could get the tiger one, but you had to pay like $30 just to get those things, which are the main things people wanted from that DLC. Or, more importantly, the Raptor Squad um, pack, which should have been free, but they made us still pay $5 for it, which... Is a which I know a lot of people were in outrage for. So I don't think it'd be the most logical choice for them to make it a paid for DLC, considering what's happened with times they did that. Compared to when Fallen Kingdom came out and we got that free update, everybody was fully happy with it. They got Indoraptor, Carnotaurus, Allosaurus, who knows? But anyway, guys, that's just my thoughts on this. Leave your thoughts on whether or not we're going to get a Dominion DLC and... Well, let's just be clear. We probably are, just do you think it's going to be free or not? Leave that in the comments of this video. But if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt for more Evolution 2, Jurassic World Dominion, Camp Cretaceous, and anything else we do. If you want more of that, do those things, subscribe, like, all that stuff. Be safe, have a good day, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!